Hello beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. We're jumping right into the Taurus reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus general reading. We have the energy of a higher view. Taurus, spirit is calling on you at this time to look at things from a higher view, a higher perspective. Don't, things, don't take things so personally. Try to look at this from your partner's standpoint as well as your own. The royal you, look at this beautiful purple energy. You are attracting divine love. Love fit for a king or a queen. And we have call of the muse you are being called on to be imaginative to be creative at this time in your life you may be working on a creative project or doing something in a very creative way so let's jump in and see what's happening in your life we have the overall energy for you and a lover as the seven of wands so we see that both of you are holding back you're trying to be very careful the seven of wands beneath this card um, show that you have had conflict in the past and you're really trying to be in this happy space instead. The sun card, who doesn't like the sun? It's the happiest card in the deck. It speaks of tremendous stability though, that within this relationship, the sun always shines eventually, right? Even after it rains. So it's so important to really respect this energy a lot of readings and a lot of couples never get sun energy. So this is a very powerful, positive energy in your relationship with your person. The Fool card in the recent past, you've rushed forward into something new. Both of you have thrown caution to the winds. It speaks very highly to the fact that you feel very comfortable with one another. Honey, I'm home. Both of you are still in the energy of keeping your options open, but Temperance card is really all about wanting to balance things. It's Sagittarius energy. Uh, Pisces energy is a Seven of Cups, and it is you are keeping your options open um, individually as, as lovers at this time, although you're forging a very strong bond. But the Seven of Cups has a pitfall. That pitfall is if you make the wrong choice, you're going to end up with a snake <laughs> instead of, you know, a snappy happy. So when we look at the energy of how your person views the situation, look at the Fool card, both ends of the spectrum. Your person is seeing that they love the new beginning with you. Again, they are juggling you and a situation or another person, but your person right now is seeing in this energy that they're not exclusively yours, but they're having a great amount of fun. The Fool card is like being on a college campus. Hey, we're free at last. How they view you, they view you Capricorn as someone who is very loving, who has a great group of friends, as someone with whom they feel a deep kinship, a deep friendship for. They almost feel as though you're a member of their family. They see you have fire in your belly, you go after what you want, and it's a time of hard work for you. We look at the energy that your person has in their heart space, and it's the death card. Given the fact that we have two fool cards here, and we have the temperance card here, I would suggest to you that you be very careful in this connection, because it looks like your person ended a relationship with someone from the past, somebody that they still are juggling emotionally, if not in other ways, Sometimes when people divorce, because a death card could be a divorce, or it could be a breakup between two people who have responsibilities with children. So there may need to be a very level, you know, sort of relationship with that person. The Nine of Wands says that your person still carries a lot of energy for this person. While you carry this energy for the relationship you're having, your person wants to be able to transcend this ending that they've had in the past that created a new beginning for you. 
but they definitely have fire in their belly for the birth and rebirth, death and rebirth of their own love life. And that's how I see it. Right now, I would say with the death card that they are more in survival mode about old emotions from the past with another beloved person as opposed to like falling in love with you. They have fire in their belly to do the work. They will do the work. But right now, it's still very early in the relationship for those with whom it resonates. If it doesn't, it's not your reading. I would suggest you look at your moon rising or Venus. When we look at how they view the situation going forward, the eight of coins, they want to get to know you, get to know all about you. They want to uh, be in harmony with you. They want to synchronize their efforts with you. But we also see them in this energy of allowing other people to compete in the relationship. So from that standpoint, I think Spirit is really calling on you to remember your value uh, with this card of royalty, to also allow this person to impact you in a very happy, healthy way, allow them to inspire you. There's something about them that's very interesting. But when we have this whole relationship energy going on, you're going to need to look at this from a more spiritual perspective because on the mundane, it shows some pretty big challenges. Again, we learn from relationships. We have good experiences, bad experiences, but this person has a lot to offer you. We have the hidden energy between you and your person is the Page of Pentacles. That's new sort of beginning energy. Page of Pentacles is here twice. How unusual. Out of all the different combinations of cards to get the clarifier being the exact same card as the identifier is pro profound. Both of you are giving to the relationship in a reasonable way. You're not jumping ahead. You're not making assumptions. I like that energy for the fool card of a new relationship. What we see in terms of what Spirit is recommending is slow and easy wins the race here, that this could go the distance. And the reason it could go the distance is because the two of you are like-minded individuals. This is Capricorn energy. Um, we have Virgo energy here. Both of you are in the energy of wanting to have a relationship and understanding a very mature level of what that looks like. Now we also see the three of coins here in terms of the clarifier. As this relationship develops in the near future, both of you are in this beautiful, enlightened Aquarius energy, which is seeing the value in each other, appreciating what you have as individuals, understanding that you've both healed in the process of your love life, that you're both really ready for love, that you have primed the pump, so to speak, to really provide in this relationship to have what you would like to have. The Muse energy is calling on you to be very creative. Sit down and write a list of what it is that you really value in your own life, the kinds of activities and that sort of thing, because your person would be on board with this. I feel as though they're very, very much similar to you in that you both have a lot of life goals. You both have a deep understanding of where you fit in your lives, what the challenges are, and what the pluses are. And it is, it's going to allow you to have an incredibly good relationship. I do see this again as a beginning relationship. And I will add at this point, as a professional reader, I often have clients ask me, uh, why this person hasn't disclosed their feelings for them. Why haven't they told me how they feel? Why don't they tell me they love me? I know they love me. But what I would actually add is, and this is especially true, when the feminine energy is asking the question. The masculine energy, in my experience over the years as a reader, does not disclose love until they're almost upon this energy of wanting to make a full-fledged commitment, being engaged, being married, being exclusive, living together, buying a home together. I just simply don't find that most of the masculine energies are highly emotive because once they tell you that they love you, 
of the experience tends to be that it's like a bullet train to the altar. And so that's where I see this reticence of sharing emotions coming in. That's just kind of a daily take, you know, on this for me. But I love this relationship energy for you. It's very powerful. Let's dig in a little bit more here and see what this person's process will be with you, Capricorn. Excuse me. Did I say Capricorn more than once? All right, but it is a Taurus reading. So, but there's a lot of Capricorn energy, which I like because it's also very career in oriented. So, we have the chariot, the honey, I'm home card. You're rushing in to see each other a lot. Twin flames, oh my goodness. The two of you are twin flames. You may not identify that for a while. The two of coins. The death card okay so for some of you this will only be a few this is a twin flame relationship coming into union and your person has had to leave somebody else behind the death card is clarified by the tower card by the moon card it's been a very um, sort of big struggle here but that death card is significant to your person so for some of you, not all, most of you, this will be a brand new relationship. And for those of you who, for whom it is a brand new relationship, I want to alert you to the fact that Twin Flame um, is a journey. It's not an event. So it usually has something to teach you and it usually takes time to pull it together. We have the Seven of Cups here, Taurus. Look at you. It is clarified by the fact that you are watching your beloved on the internet you're watching who interacts with them you're staying very balanced um, for those of you with whom this is a new beginning um, it looks as though there's a lot to be learned in the relationship and a lot of good exploration we get the sky father that is the emperor that is aries energy and the three of swords energy with the two of swords i mean with the two of coins so it does look like your person is very much you know they've had to leave another situation you could have been a third party especially in a twin flame relationship in which a karmic gets left behind this isn't just a twin flame reading though this is for anybody take what resonates like a buffet table take what's yours leave the rest two of swords energy so you are ignoring the fact that your person is juggling a lot of responsibilities and they are really working through the details of their life. Look at that strength card. Your person has fire in the belly for you, Taurus. They absolutely adore you. That is the infinity symbol when we look at the strength card. The power, the courage to do the work, to carry on. Spirit of Pentacles, energy. Taurus, there you are in your reading. Great energy. Absolutely great energy. You will come, your person will come through this period of time in which they make a very clear cut choice. All right, the Three of Cups, your dear friends. Oh my word. Okay. <laughs> the way I studied tarot, not everybody has studied from the same master or books or whatever. The Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups is an engagement set. So your person sees you as someone that they want to make a, 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 the offer of a ring. This is a bridesmaid's dancing at the party. This is the ring and that's the contract. So your person sees you as a person with whom they want to make a soul contract. So I want to move this, excuse me, over to here. Let's see. Okay, Spirit, please tell us about the confusion and the, the transformation of your person and their heart space. Ace of Swords, your person wants to live in the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I like it. We also see that your person is healing, beautiful energy. Six of Swords, moving away from that past, moving away from a karmic or a toxic or some really heartbreaking situation. Uh, either in marriage, within a, a, a marriage or not, however it resonates. The Nine of Swords energy says that your person is losing sleep. They're losing sleep over the relationship they walked away from, the Seven of Wands, a relationship that 
cause them to be defensive of your connection. The Heart of Cups is a Queen of Cups that shows that they really love you. But whoever they left behind, and it looks to me as though there are children, that's where I see this energy being. The Eight of Cups is not about leaving a karmic. The Eight of Cups is about uh, leaving to be with you. Okay, Taurus? That energy of the Two of Cups is two hearts beating as one. And becoming single again was a requirement. So they may have just had this person as a partner, but they may not have ever been married to them, interestingly enough. But again, it'll be different for everybody. Let's see why we have the Page of Pentacles here as a hidden energy. Movement of Cups. Ooh, romance. Lance romance, as I like to call the Knight of Cups. Uh, Pisces energy. Why is it here for you? Six of Cups, a reunion, loving each other very deeply, wanting to grow old with each other. So this is a very powerful relationship. It was a surprise to me the way it is unfolded. All right. So we see the movement of pentacles and we see the king of pentacles. So we see the, the knight who is struggling. So spirit is telling you that this person's not going to have an easy time of it, but they will choose you. They will choose to, they have already chosen you. And they are aligning their actions with their feelings for you. We have the hanged man. So it does look like there is a temporary delay in moving forward in some aspect of the relationship, Taurus. We see that uh, your person and you both feel as though you've been through the mill. You just want to relax, hang out. What I would say is stay very like mundane. Take nice walks in the park, walk a dog, you know, play with children, you know, eat good food together as you both heal because you're both in this healing energy. The star card is healing the spiritual uh, self and the hanged man says that you're looking at things from a different perspective which is also the match here a higher view and so Taurus both of you are in that energy spirit of cups king of cups energy the Scorpio king is here uh, to tell you that both of you are very much in love with each other that you're on the same page and that you know this process has been sort of if you look at this hanged man this is not an easy breezy hanged man. This hanged man says, gee, I feel like I've been punched in the head like a cartoon character. And so it really speaks to the fact that both of you are in somewhat of a state of exhaustion or being tired emotionally, but it speaks volumes to the fact that uh, you've gone through a lot, you've been through a lot, and you are dedicated to loving each other and having a good life, a beautiful life together. So Taurus, I'm going to leave it there for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Please leave comments. Send some love back. A thumbs up is always helpful. But tell me if you like this format, okay? Thanks so much. And tell me where you're from. Thank you. Bye-bye.